Motohiro, um, you know, when I talked to Kenta earlier and also uh, several people that, that I've had questions from in this regard, uh, JAXA and Japan have a, a very unique capability in allowing us to take large pieces of cargo to the International Space Station. You have a vehicle that's called HTV that launches out of Kanagashima and um, it, it has now been to the space station three times. Uh, we are looking forward to having a total of seven of those vehicles flown to the International Space Station between now and or between the beginning of, of the station program and 2016. Uh, they can carry things like large batteries that are necessary to continue the operation of the International Space Station. Since the space shuttle was retired, we don't have another vehicle that has that capability. Uh, you also took uh, a vehicle, or a vehicle, a scientific instrument called ISERV that's a camera system that will allow us to look down at Earth uh, for Earth observations purposes, for disaster management, crop planning, water resources management, and things of that nature. So um, th the Japanese have a very unique capability of producing things that are necessary that no other nation can do. When I look at the station itself, uh, I think it's acknowledged by every single astronaut who has ever gone to the International Space Station. And that's, not, that's just not American astronauts. That's, that's astronauts across the board from, from all of our international partners that the uh, premier capsule, the premier module on the International Space Station today from a science and technology perspective is Kibo. It's the Japanese experiment module. It's, uh, it is really modern, state-of-the-art. You have the only module that has a... Um, or what we call a small airlock. It's a little box, and we can put experiments into that airlock, push it out into space on the back of Kibo, out onto what's called the porch, and you have a robotic uh, apparatus on the back, arms that uh, are able to take that experiment, put it out into space, and bring it back. Uh, you can do things from Kibo that we can't do from any other module. So you, you have an incredibly unique capability in how you develop robots, how you do science and technology development uh, that will be very important in the coming years, both for commercial development of space, uh, for Japanese industry and, and scientific endeavors, and just for the Japanese public. So I, th I think it's critical what, what you do as a nation.